There are only two critical parts to mastering a Lazy 8. One is understanding what you're really supposed to do, and the other is doing it with enough precision. First off, forget that it's called an 8. It's an S-turn. The S-turn is made trickier because you climb and descend twice while simultaneously flying the S. Let's look at just the turns without the climbs. Starting on a heading of north, you'll begin your turn slowly banking steeper and steeper until you're heading east. By this point, you should be banked 30 degrees. You'll keep turning but banking less and less until your wings are level on a south heading. You've reversed direction and flown half the S. Don't stop there, gently roll through level flight into a turn the other way, banking more and more until you reach 30 degrees of bank, when you're facing east again, and then less and less bank until your wings level and facing north, just like you started. That's the S turn, here are the hills. You'll pitch up, slowly raising nose higher until your maximum pitch up, halfway up the hill. Now you'll start pitching down, but you're still climbing. This means you'll keep going uphill until you reach level pitch at the top. Because you don't add power during a lazy 8, you'll slow down to near minimum speed at the top of the hill. You'll keep pitching down, steeper and steeper until your maximum nose down, about halfway down the hill. You'll start pitching up, but continue to descend to level off right at the altitude and airspeed where you started. Then you do it again on a second hill, reaching the same height you did the first time, and descending back to the same altitude where you started. The Lazy 8 requires doing both the S turn and the hills simultaneously. Start your turn and climb at the same time. By 45 degrees of turn, you're at maximum pitch up and about half maximum bank. By 90 degrees of turn, you're leveling off at the high point, but your bank is steepened all the way to 30 degrees. By 135 degrees of turn, you're at maximum pitch down and bank is reduced to about 15 degrees. By 180 degrees of turn, your wings are level and your pitch is back where it started. Immediately turn and climb for the second half of the 8, pitching up and banking steeper, then pitching down but still banking steeper, then pitching down further but banking less, then pitching up and still banking less, to return to wings level with the same pitch, altitude, and airspeed where you started. In fact, everything on the second turn should be a match or mirror image of the first turn. It's complicated to coordinate all this, so when you launch the training flight, you'll start with a series of gates to follow to help you out. Follow the gates and my comments the first time through to get a feel for the whole maneuver. The second time through, you'll only see the key points every 45 degrees of turn. For practice after that, there's just a starting gate and the heading pillars in the distance. The challenge version is the same, only the starting gate and the pillars for orientation. You'll see a score at the end, no matter what, with the option to keep flying or reset guidance to the beginning, or log out for now. There are plenty of subtleties to flying the Lazy 8 and understanding the scoring, so watch your Redbird landing account for more helpful videos when you log in to see your scoring history and progress. Good luck!